when they were sentenced, I, I could not believe that. And then I was told, well, in Ohio, hazing's just a fourth degree misdemeanor, which is the equivalent of not paying your parking ticket. I was so angry. And I remember thinking, they've got to change that. I remember that was my whole thought, that they need to change that. I, I, I never set out for me to change it. I set out to find who were the people who were gonna change this because this was unacceptable. I was just looking for those people who were gonna change it. So my name is Stephanie Kunze. I'm a state senator here in Ohio. I am the sponsor of Collins Law, which was Senate Bill 126, to strengthen our laws here in Ohio to prevent any additional deaths from hazing. It's kind of the heart of a mother who is on a mission, and I was just grateful to be a mother that got to partner with her. Um, I had kids in college during the same time, and I think it really hit home. Um, that we send our kids off to school with big dreams and big hopes and um, unfortunately Collins ended in you know a nightmare that the Wyatt family won't wake up from and you know that just really sat with me uh, upon hearing her story meeting her um, that void just won't be filled and we don't want any family to, to suffer and go through that anymore. Collins Law does a few different things. Number one, it widens the definition of hazing in the state of Ohio. Um, it makes known hazing criminal, which is really important. So now when coaches know this is a tradition that goes on on our team and I just kind of turn a blind eye, now it's criminal for them to know about it. So now known hazing has to be reported, that's huge. Um, Anti-hazing training is required of all students on all campuses and um, hazing is now up to a third degree felony in the state of Ohio. Um, and last, and what is one of the most important pieces to me, is it has a transparency piece where now you can go on the website of any university in the state of Ohio. You can look up any one of their organizations and find out every violation of code of conduct they've had. That is significant to me because when Colin said I'm pledging Sigma Pi fraternity, I looked them up found nothing bad. I did my homework. I did everything I knew how to do. If Collins Law was in place, I would have seen that a few months prior, they sent a pledge to the ER with eight staples to the head from a pledging activity. I also, with Collins Law, would have seen that they were suspended a few years prior for hazing 15 pledges in the front yard in the middle of the night, stripped down and blindfolded. Wade and I would have read that and said, dear God, if that's what they're doing in public, what are they doing behind closed doors? Hopefully Colin would not have wanted to pledge that fraternity, but that doesn't matter. I can assure you, Wade and I would have said, oh, you're absolutely not pledging that fraternity. If just that one small piece of Colin's law was in place, Colin would be alive today. Putting a stop to hazing across Ohio. That has been Kathleen Wyant's goal the past two years. Votes the bill has received the required constitutional majority and is hereby passed and entitled. With unanimous support, Ohio's House of Representatives passed Collins Law, receiving a standing ovation from lawmakers. I'm really hopeful that Collins Law will become model legislation and encourage other states to pass uh, similar protections for young people that are going to college in their state. In a few moments, I will be signing Senate Bill 126, uh, also known as Collins Law. This bill passed the Senate unanimously. This bill passed the House unanimously. This is really a question of culture. And for decades, the culture of hazing has been accepted as something that is tolerated. This bill says that going forward, hazing in the state of Ohio is simply not tolerated. Colin was a protector by nature. I can think of no greater way to honor him than a law in his name designed for the sole purpose of protecting others. Colin, I know you're watching and I hope we made you proud. Mm -hmm.